Hey there. I've been really interested in learning about different cultures, and Tunisia has caught my attention recently. I've heard it as a rich and diverse cultural heritage. Can you tell me more about the culture of Tunisia? Absolutely. Tunisia indeed has a fascinating cultural tapestry. Its history dates back thousands of years, influenced by various civilizations like the Phoenicians, Romans, Arabs, and Ottomans. This blend has shaped its unique traditions, arts, and way of life. That sounds incredible. I'd love to know more about Tunisian traditions. What are some of the customs and rituals that are unique to the people of Tunisia? One of the distinctive traditions in Tunisia is its cuisine. The country is renowned for its delicious dishes like couscous, brick, a deep-fried pastry, and various stews. Meals often involve family gatherings, highlighting the importance of togetherness and community bonds. Food truly does bring people together. I've also heard about Tunisia's music and dance traditions. Can you shed some light on that? Certainly. Tunisia boasts a vibrant musical scene, blending Arab, Berber, and Andalusian influences. Traditional music instruments like the Oud and Darbuk are commonly used. The country also has unique dance forms like the Stabali, associated with spiritual rituals, and the lively Rakes al Yaf, performed during celebrations. That's fascinating. I'm also curious about the art and architecture of Tunisia. I've seen some beautiful pictures of ancient ruins and mosques. Tunisia's architecture is a testament to its rich history. The medinas, or old towns, of cities like Tunis and Sousse feature narrow alleys, colorful houses, and intricate tillwork, reflecting Islamic design. The country is also famous for ancient sites like Carthage and Duga, showcasing well-preserved Roman ruins. The blend of historical and modern elements in Tunisia's architecture must be breathtaking. Speaking of history, what about the cultural festivals and events in Tunisia? I'm sure they're a vibrant display of its heritage. Absolutely. Tunisia hosts numerous festivals throughout the year. The Carthage International Festival is a prominent event, showcasing music, theater, and dance performances. The Festival of the Sahara celebrates Bedouin culture, featurehood traditional music, camel races, and folk dances. These events allow locals and visitors alike to immerse themselves in Tunisia's cultural richness. It sounds like there's always something exciting happening in Tunisia. I've read that the country also has a thriving literary scene. Are there any notable Tunisian writers or literary works that you would recommend? Definitely. Tunisian literature has produced some remarkable writers. One notable figure is Tahar Ben Yelaun, a prolific author whose works like this blinding absence of light and the sacred night offer profound insights into the human condition. Ashi Ajbar is another renowned writer known for her novels exploring themes of identity and gender. Exploring their works provides valuable perspectives on Tunisian culture and society. I'll be sure to check out their books. It's incredible how literature can provide such deep insights into a culture. I'm also curious about the religious aspects of Tunisia. What role does religion play in the country's culture? Religion, primarily Islam, plays a significant role in Tunisian culture. The majority of the population practices Sunni Islam, and religious festivals and traditions are an integral part of everyday life. Mosques are not only places of worship, but also centers of community activities, fostering a sense of unity among the people. The call to prayer resonating through the cities is a reminder of the country's spiritual heritage. It's great to hear how religion is interwoven into the fabric of Tunisian society. I've also heard about the traditional crafts in Tunisia, like pottery and carpet weaving. Can you tell me more about these crafts and their significance? Tunisian crafts are a true reflection of the country's artistic heritage. Pottery, especially the distinctive blue and white ceramics, is a popular craft, showcasing intricate designs and craftsmanship. Carpet weaving, often practiced by Berber communities, produces vibrant rugs with unique patterns and symbols each telling a story. These crafts not only preserve traditional techniques, but also contribute to the local economy and cultural identity. I love how these crafts preserve the cultural heritage while also being economically important. Tunisia seems like a place where traditions and modernity coexist seamlessly. I'm curious, how is education viewed in Tunisian culture? Education is highly valued in Tunisia, and the country has made significant strides in promoting literacy and education for all. 
the education system is based on the French model, emphasizing a strong foundation in subjects like mathematics, science, and literature. Tunisians recognize the importance of knowledge in shaping the future and empowering individuals, reflecting a forward-looking approach rooted in their cultural values. That's wonderful to hear. Empowering future generations through education is key to any society's progress. I'm truly fascinated by Tunisia's culture now, and I appreciate your sharing all this information with me. Is there anything else you think I should know about Tunisia's culture? I'm glad you find Tunisia's culture as captivating as I do. One more aspect worth mentioning is the hospitality of the Tunisian people. Visitors often remark on the warmth and friendliness of the locals. Tunisians have a strong sense of community and are welcoming to guests, making anyone who visits feel like they are a part of the extended family. This hospitality, rooted in ancient Bedouin traditions, is a cherished cultural trait that leaves a lasting impression on visitors. That sounds like a wonderful experience. The combination of rich history, diverse traditions, delicious cuisine, and warm hospitality truly makes Tunisia a unique and inviting destination. Thank you so much for sharing all these insights with me. I'm definitely inspired to learn more and, hopefully, visit Tunisia someday to immerse myself in its vibrant culture. You're very welcome. I'm sure you'd have an amazing time exploring Tunisia and experiencing its culture firsthand. If you ever plan your trip or have more questions, feel free to reach out. Learning about different cultures enriches our understanding of the world, and I'm glad I could contribute to your knowledge about Tunisia. Safe travels and happy cultural exploration.